the process of cross-matching is uh, one of the, the best ways that we can test for compatibility between the blood that's being transfused into the patient and the patient's own immune system. There's a little bit of a misconception of whether this is important or not because in dogs it was often said that the first transfusion is free in that uh, because there's no antibodies against uh, the most clinically significant antigen that's on the red cell surface, uh, it usually doesn't result in an acute reaction. And so if there's no pre-existing antibody that will cause an acute reaction, the first time we shouldn't have to do any compatibility testing and just give it, and it should be fine. I think we've sort of worked towards uh, dispelling that myth um, in that, that it always causes a delayed reaction because the immune system gets sensitized to it, to this foreign antigen, starts creating, producing antibodies against it, and that starts to ramp up. And about four to the four to six days post transfusion mark, the antibody titer is going to be in full swing that it does result in a delayed hemolytic reaction. And then you've primed that patient to a severe acute reaction the next time they get that mismatched transfusion. And so if the transfusion records are not uh, appropriate and or they go to a different practice and they assume that this animal has never received a transfusion and they do another mismatch, or uh, then uh, that could result in uh, very severe consequences and even death. And so um, for that matter, blood type matching and cross matching is important even for the first transfusion in dogs, unlike uh, how some people may feel.